this is a very quick video and I do plan on doing more of these little quick videos like this just on one specific subject and today it's about determining whether or not you have a bad alternator or another problem causing the alternator not to charge your battery. We're going to walk through this very quickly using nothing but a multimeter. First let me say there's a variety of tools that you can purchase that will check your battery for you, will check your alternator, your charging system, and tell you exactly if it's good, bad, or whatnot. Here's a good example of that. This is one I picked up off of Amazon, and uh, it works good, works real good. But today I want to show you how to use a multimeter or voltmeter. Now you don't have to have an expensive multimeter. This one's fairly expensive, it's a fluke. It's not the most expensive, but it's still a good one. But you can pick up a $10 multimeter from Walmart, Harbor Freight, wherever, and do this same test. And I think most guys, I think, would probably have a multimeter. If not, like I said, you can get them inexpensive if it's something you're just using every now and then. So with the car off, I want to go ahead and turn this to DC volts. We're in the volt setting, we're on DC volts, as you can see here. So I just want to measure battery voltage, put our red on the positive terminal and our negative with the black terminal. We have 12.86 volts. And for the record, this is a brand new battery. It's kind of ironic because I was planning to do this video, lo and behold, if we didn't have a dead battery yesterday. So that's a brand new battery. Now, in order to see if this alternator is putting out, I'm going to first start the car and we're going to see if it's putting out and what it's putting out. Just started it. We're at an idle. Let's see what we're putting out at an idle. 14.01, 14 volts. So that is plenty acceptable. And what I want to do now is put a load on this alternator with headlights running on high beam, radio on, air conditioner, put as many accessories on as I can and see what happens then. So right now the alternator is doing a good job. It's putting out more than what the battery is rated at, which means it can maintain the battery. But let's see if it can maintain the battery plus all the load I put on this car. So you might have heard that fan just kick on. That means the AC is running. I've got my high beams on. I've got the radio going, the dome light inside the car is going. So let's see what we're putting out now. There we go, 13.86. It's handling the load no problem, plus it's still putting power into the battery to keep it fully charged, and that's exactly what we're wanting. So let's say that you are not putting out good current from the alternator we need to do a voltage drop test to make sure it is a bad alternator and not bad connections or bad cables, bad grounds and such as that. And that's a really easy test using the same voltmeter on DC volts. So I'm going to take the red lead, just go to the body of the alternator, which is already grounded, and we're going to go to the negative side. All right, that is 0.059, that is plenty acceptable. If you get up to 0.1 or higher, then you've got too much voltage drop, which means you've got something causing a higher resistance. You've got corrosion at a terminal, you've got corrosion at a cable, you just got something going on. So now, now let's check the output of the alternator and see what kind of voltage drop we got going back to the battery, if any. All right, so here is your main battery wire going back to your battery. And I can get to the metal right here. Let's go to our positive terminal. All right, we're at 0 0.153. Hope you can see that. Plenty within tolerance. Once you get up to 0 0.3 or higher, then you've got to start looking for what's causing that voltage drop, such as a bad, dirty terminal, bad cable. It can be a variety of things. But that's how you can tell if the alternator is putting out, if it's charging your battery, or if you've got something preventing the alternator from doing its job. And that can only be proven through the voltage drop test as I just showed you. 
One thing I don't think I mentioned earlier is if you're running more than, let's say, 14.2 or 14.5 volts, if you're getting up closer to 15 volts or higher, you could damage your battery. It's not intended to put that kind of voltage back into this battery. What I showed you is pretty normal. That's actually dead on spot accurate. On the same hand, if you're not reading enough voltage to maintain the battery and the load on the car, then it's not putting out enough or not putting out at all. So hopefully this video has showed you how to tell if you got a good alternator and if it's not putting out, it might not be the alternator, it could be a faulty cable that's got a high resistance due to corrosion, bad connections. It could be right at the battery post. I'm sure all of you have seen the corrosion that can build up between the lead on a battery and the actual terminal that clamps down. And it can, it can be a variety of things, but that kind of puts you in the right path. And uh, that's what the voltage drop was for. We did the negative side. We also did the positive side to where you now know if you have a ground issue or if you're having a positive terminal issue or something in between. I will be doing more short videos like this as we go. Just one subject, one problem, quick, fast, where you understand. Thanks for watching. I'm Russ Jones with Skill Savvy DIY.